as we celebrate the New Year's today, we would like to share our stories and good energy to welcome 2022, the Year of the Tiger with Positivity. Over the years, figures from over 80 countries have attended, enabling friends from overseas to get to know our culture and maintain good friendships. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Hong Daozi, Zhangmen Ren of Taiji Man. The tiger is often seen as a symbol of courage, and bravery and true love can help people overcome challenges. As we enter the third year of the COVID-19 pandemic, impacts have changed everyone's lives, bringing fear, chaos, and grief. However, the pandemic has also provided opportunities for ecological change on Earth. At a time when the physical contact between people is drastically reduced, the use of advanced technology creates another type of connection. As we interact online, and the Internet knows no borders, making those living far away seem to be as close to us as our neighbors, and allowing goodness to spread more widely and quickly. Today, we are meeting online to send our blessings and good thoughts to the world, making this Chinese New Year gathering even more meaningful. For today's celebration, some of our wonderful friends have sent in their best wishes. Let's welcome the messages from our friends around the world. I want to wish you a In addition to meeting new people through cultural performances and maintaining friendships with people from all walks of life, these events are used to pass on the spirit of culture to the next generation, allowing the beautiful culture of peace to be passed down from generation to generation.
All of the brothers and sisters in Taiji men have practiced Qigong and gained in different areas, physically and spiritually. Let's welcome their sharings of what they have gained from practicing Qigong in Taiji men. I'm so grateful that practicing Taiji men Qigong give me a healthy body and a positive heart to overcome all these challenges in this trying time. I do practice Qigong every day. I do my best to support my family and go work whoever or whatever they need. I accept the outcome and the let go things. I am happy and healthy even though busy at time in this pandemic. The low impact exercises ensure better health and peace of mind. Volunteer work involving promotion of the culture of peace with love and conscience keeps me engaged and gratitude moves me forward. My sifu taught me to help myself and help others and do the right thing. After going through some bad experiences during the pandemic, now I understand bad things aren't bad means all kinds of experiences will ultimately become good learning experiences in our life. 每一个人都有那个一颗那个纯净的那个有良心的心，但是被埋没在那个心呃那个在今天的社会被埋没住了。所以说大家都能够有良心，凭着自己的那个内心的良心去做事情的话，很快就疫情会那个什么得到那个什